Um, yeah, after the, the game, it was a bit, a bit dampened. Um, I think everybody, including ourselves, expected to beat Italy. We really wanted to beat Italy and really show the world out there that we've we've really had a good uh, good camp and it's put us in good stead, which which it has done. But unfortunately, we couldn't put the right right ingredients together and come away with the win. But um, I think that spurred us on a bit more. Um, I wanted to beat Australia the first game. It's a massive game. Everyone's looking forward to it. Um, yeah, so the, so the camp's really really been buzzing this week. Everyone's turned up to Loughborough on Monday and um, we're looking forward to what's what's coming overhead. Yeah, obviously, look, it's uh, disappointing on Saturday. Uh, real kicking the kick to our pride, I think, as a country or as a team. Um, so the boys are, you know, got their heads down a little bit embarrassed. Um, but, you know, after that, when you when you come up against an embarrassing loss, you often tend to knuckle down and focus on the things that are really important in, in team performance. And, you know, the boys, we had a good session yesterday and, and the boys are really focused on, on turning around what, you know, abysmal smart abysmal start to, to our World Cup. Yeah, it's massive, especially just with the comments that people were saying after the after Saturday's de defeat. Um, the real the lads really want to show show the media and not just the media but themselves that we are capable of winning this tournament. So, and it starts on Saturday with Australia. It's no big game out there, so um, it's a massive game and uh, all the lads are really looking forward to playing it. You know, I certainly get the feel that the boys are, like I said in, earlier, a little bit embarrassed, uh, backs against the wall sort of thing. There's been plenty going on. Um, but that often brings out the best in players and, and, and shows a fight within the team. So, you know, it's um, we've got a great challenge in front of us on Saturday and there's no better way to come back from an embarrassing loss and, and go up against the best in the world. So, you know, we've, uh, we're have knuckling down and, and getting ready for the game on Saturday night, which uh, is probably going to be the biggest game of a lot of guys' careers and um, you've got to prepare the best we can. We've got over the disappointment. Obviously, it was a bit of a shock, but the, the the lads are in a great great frame of mind at the moment. You know, we're really positive. Everybody's bouncing, and and everybody's just feeding off each other. Um, if we're not training, we, we, we're gelling together in the in the table tennis room, playing the computer. It's it's one happy group and uh, one group that's raring to go. Uh, I don't re really take too much notice of what's going on outside the outside the team. Uh, what really matters to, to me um, right now is is the team that we've got, the 24 men we've got, uh, the coaching staff and everyone involved. Um, you know, people outside are always going to have their opinions on on the squad and, and what's going on within us. But um, uh, you know, we've got to leave people to do that. Uh, that's what people's jobs are, and and, and our job as an England rugby league player is to go out and perform the best we can on the weekend. And you know, as long as uh, the 24 men that are in this in this group are, are happy and comfortable, and, and that's the main thing. We play our best, and we can beat anybody. Um, the talent from one to 17 or one to 21, whoever doesn't play, you know, you, you, the, the, there's uh, talent in abundance. So, um, you know, we know if we can play anywhere near our best, then then uh, whoever we play is irrelevant. It's all about England.